Let's make our own photo filter. So I have this Detroit Mechanics score update graphic. You can see it's just a photo with the score update block in the bottom right corner. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. And so this is something you can do if you wanna kind of make a signature look for your specific team. You can make a filter that you apply to all photos, to all graphics that have a photo, and just keep things a little bit more unique and consistent. First thing we're gonna do is make a folder for all of our filter layers. I'm gonna name it filter. And basically we're just gonna be doing adjustment layers. And there's a million different ways you can create your own photo filter. Most of them will involve some of these different options. So let's start with a curves layer. I use curves a good amount. This is basically affecting you know, the dark to light tones of your image. So you can drop points on this curve just by clicking in different spots. And then you can move those points up or down to increase or decrease the values of the tones in that range. So if you wanted to like raise the dark tones, if you wanted it a little bit less dark, you could bring this curve up. You can also bring the black point up by messing with this point down here. So this is gonna give it like that matte photo effect, which we'll, we'll run with for this example. And you can see just the quick before and after. It's taking those blacks and just making them more gray. So it's like a duller black. Uh, we can also lift you know, the highlights a little bit by adding a point there and maybe we wanna bring the midtones down a bit. The mechanics obviously have black in their uniform. Let's go with like a, a darker, kind of moodier look for this filter. So let's start there with curves. Quick before and after. It's mostly messing with that matte look. Maybe we'll bring it down a little bit. And now let's add a gradient map. And what we're gonna do here is just a black to white gradient map. This is gonna be used just to desaturate the image, bring all the colors down a little bit, make them more dull. So we're gonna do this with a black and white gradient map just because we can affect the contrast here. Like if you really want a super contrasted, you know, saturated, desaturated look, you could bring these sliders closer together. I like how it is just in its default look. And now once we hit okay, you can bring the opacity down to, you know, like 20 to 30% is usually a safe Bet. So we'll go with 30%. Again, before and after, we'll keep showing the, the differences in the filter. And by the way, I have some finishing textures going over the top of this entire design. That's a good idea if you have elements going over the photo, just to bring everything together a little bit more. So I have like some steel texture on the right side here that you can see a little bit of grunge texture, giving some white speckles throughout this photo, uh, and then some noise going over the top of everything which is more subtle, but it is there as well. So watch my video on finishing touches if you haven't yet. That is still gonna come in handy even when you're working with filters. It's like giving everything kind of a fresh coat of paint at the end. So next let's go in and add a color lookup. So these are kind of built in filters that Photoshop already has for you. You can also load in your own LUT file, they're called, L-U-T. We just have the default settings in here right now. So I'm gonna to go to candlelight cube. You can scroll through, you know, whatever look you like, and you can always reduce the opacity on these effects if you just wanted a toned down version of whatever it's doing. So I like candlelight cube for this graphic. Let's bring it down to like, I don't know, probably, again, 30% is like a, like a safe, subtle percentage that you can use in your filters. So we got 30% on candlelight cube, we got 30% on the gradient map, and we've still got that curves layer in there. So again, turning it on and off. So another thing we can do is if you wanna pop this red stripe out a bit, if we're working with the mechanics, they're gonna have some red in their uniform. You have to be careful with red because it's also the color of skin tone, so we don't wanna overdo it. But basically if you add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and then go to the reds, this is gonna affect all the reds in the image if you saturate or desaturate them. We're gonna bring them up a little bit, you know, maybe 20, 25%. And you can just see the subtle effect. Brings them out a little bit more, but again, does highlight those skin tones, but not too much. So I think we're okay with that. The last thing I would do when you're doing like a graphic that has another element and you're doing the photo filter is it's always a good idea to put like a little gradient in the corner or on the side, just to separate out that element a little bit more. 
So let's make a new layer, bring it to the bottom of all the curves, and let's just take uh, our gradient tool here, black to transparent is what it's set to, and then I'm gonna hold shift to get like a perfectly 45 degree angle gradient coming in that corner there, and then maybe I'll, I'll take one from the side as well, just clicking and dragging to get like a subtle effect in the corner. And then we're gonna bring the opacity down so it's not so obvious, but again, just like a little bit more to separate out that element and maybe draw the eye to it. So this is our finalized filter. Again, let's see before, we just had a simple photo with some basic texture going over the top, adding the filter, makes it a lot more moody. We can also see, I dragged in a different photo can see how it affects something else. If you ever make a filter and you just feel like it's too much of a filter effect, you can also bring down the opacity of the entire filter folder. As long as you keep everything nice and tidy in your layers, you can just bring down the opacity here and you'll see this was what it would have looked like originally and then fully opaque on the filter folder. This is our, our full effect. So have fun, experiment. There's so many different adjustments you can do, so many different types of gradient maps. You might want a specific color washing over the whole image. You might want it totally black and white. Whatever you wanna do, I highly encourage adding photo filters to your designs.